Mr. Speaker, I stated earlier that I think, and I said very clearly, I'm talking to, the, to my colleagues, and I think this is a rush decision because the, the, the way it is portrayed out there and what you're getting from the media is what you're making, you're basing your decision on. And as colleagues in the same coalition, I would feel that yourselves as leaders, if you got the wind that there is a problem inside, on the side of Jubilee, that the best thing is to reach out to Jubilee and find out why are the, are the members of Jubilee disgruntled about being in the Azimio coalition. But what you've simply done is to jump into conclusion that Jubilee wants to get out of Azimio and this is the right time to punish individual members. Mr. Speaker, sir, just a few months ago, we had an issue, a similar issue in this house. And it is the same, very same Sec uh, Secretary General of DM, Senator Sifuna, who kept reminding me that as senators, we are leaders and we should not take direction from the principles. Yet now, it seems like the very same members are taking direction from people outside of this house to make decisions and to chart the way for the members of the coalition. It seems like certain members are itching for certain positions of leadership in this house. The right thing was to wait and see if the threat made by a certain member of the Jubilee to exit the coalition, wait for that time and then make your move on the individuals or the positions that you want to take. At this moment, I would urge the minority leader and the deputy whip, this is not the time to go against your colleagues in the leadership without getting the substance of the problem that we are having in the coalition. And just to mention, Mr. Speaker, immediately members of Jubilee went to the State House. And I think the, Hon the Honorable Senator of Isiolo addressed to this matter yesterday. There is really nothing wrong with members of Jubilee going to State House, but they did. They went. Instead of the leadership of Azimio to call members of Jubilee and ask them, of their discussions at State House. They opted to go out in public rallies to insult members of Jubilee, calling them political prostitutes. And these are leaders. If members of parliament cannot interact with the, with the head of state because of their political affiliation, then it would be only fair that also the governors of the same political affiliation not to interact with the head of state. If this, if this punishment is being laid out on Jubilee because they have met with the head of state, why is it okay for some leaders to meet with the head of state and others not to? As far as exiting Azimio, I have mentioned it here. It is not a decision that has been reached to the very end. And I would urge the leadership to hold their horses and for those who are itching for these positions to also wait because the positions will still be there for the taking. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.